Hi everyone, Mrs Pileggi here and today I'm going to show you your use it challenge for your work on fractions. So you're going to use your knowledge from the do it challenge and apply it to the use it challenge. So you've got a sheet and it says shading shapes at the top and it says can you find 10 different ways to shade half of these shapes. Now I've put a couple of examples on here for you. Now the reason that this is tricky if you've watched my previous videos is that when we're finding half, we knew that this top number here, the numerator, was how many parts we had to shade in. And this bottom number here, the denominator, that was how many parts make the whole. Now this is tricky because these shapes haven't been split into two equal parts. Now there's two ways to work this out. So I'm gonna show you one way on here. I can, here's my whole shape. And it's actually been put into one, two, three, four, five, six parts. But if I make this little line darker and I ignore those two lines there, if I look at the whole shape and I make that line darker, I've actually split the shape into half. So I can colour in all of this bit along here and I've made the shape into two equal parts and I've coloured in half, okay? Another way of doing it is to count up how many parts there are. So we just said there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six parts that make the whole. And I need to colour in half of those. Now if you know your halves, you know that half of six is three. And I can colour in three squares. One, doesn't matter which three squares you colour in. Two and three. There's a posh word for this, if you want to be really fancy, it's called equivalent, equivalent fractions. An equivalent is just a fancy word of saying the same as. So a half is the same as three six, because half of six is three. Let's have another look at a different example. So this one wants me to shade the shapes into quarters. Well, these ones are okay because they're already into four equal parts. And I only have to colour in one part. So there's one, two, three, four. I have to colour in one. That's one quarter shaded. This one's been split into four. Four equal parts. I only have to split colour in one. But this is very tricky. This is much trickier. This hasn't been split into four parts. So again, you can use my little trick from when we did halves. I can use my imagination and I can split the shape into four parts. And if I ignore that middle line this time, there's actually one part here, another part here, another part here, and another part here. So it's actually in fours if I ignore that middle line. And I only need to colour in one part of it. So if I coloured in that whole part here, there's four equal parts and one part has been coloured in. Or you can use my little trick, the equivalent fraction trick, like we did a second ago. You can count up how many squares there are all together. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can find a quarter of eight. And to find a quarter of eight, you just need to half the number then half it again. Half of eight is four. Half of four is two. Two eighths. So if I colour in two squares, doesn't matter which two, I've coloured in two eighths, but that is exactly the same. If you look here, it's exactly the same as colouring in one quarter. Because they're the same as each other, they are equivalent.